Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word and heeding his voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today is the feast of the archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Brothers and sisters, let's take a moment to call to mind our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. 
You built up strength within me. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under a fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. There's always part of me on this feast day that wants to say, you know, what, what can you say about angels? What can you say about something that you don't see and have never seen? Well, then I remember, oh yeah, we do that every day, <laughs> right? I, I, I don't know how I somehow forget that. This thing that we, our whole faith we preach about is, is as much as we have been, has been revealed to us by our Lord Jesus, who absolutely was flesh and blood, uh, who passed it down to the apostles, everything. Um, there's so much we know from Revelation, and yet still so much that's like shrouded in this kind of mystery. And I certainly think angels very much fall into that category where we really only know and understand so much about them. Um, they have names, evidently, right? So we know that much. So there's like a, a personal quality to them. We can, we can say there are individual angels. And with their names comes a personal will. They can choose to do things. They um, have the ability to say yes or no to some degree because we have a story in Revelation here of an angel Lucifer effectively saying no. Um, so they have that personal quality, but they're, they're pure spirit. And so uh, in our faith, we talk about how the world was created through the assistance of the angels through some degree so they can know what, for example, a rose looks like. Um, They know what it is, they know what a carrot cake looks like, but they'll never smell or taste any of those things. For that you have to have some material, some part of you that is of God's creation in the material order. So we know those things about them. We also know that angel refers not so much to who they are, like what they are, they're, they're just spirit, they're servants of God, but their function angel means messenger and so that's one of the most important functions that the angels fulfill in the scripture is is sending messages to human beings what else do they do we see them uh, guide we see them protect uh, we see Michael in the in the reading from Revelation being a defender of the righteousness of God and of the majesty of God Michael's name in fact means who is like God but it's not a statement Right? If it were a statement, it would just say, like God. Who is like God? Question mark. That's what his name means. In other words, no one is. But this is where it kind of gets interesting. No one is like God, but how much more does the existence of angels, I think, emphasize how, and not to be, you know, we don't want to be self-centered about this. We want to just kind of be in awe of it. How special are we to God that he wants us to be like him? Right? It's not something that exists by our own merit. We can't just decide, uh, I'm going to be omnipotent today. I'm going to be omniscient. I'm going to start uh, creating something out of nothing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's something that God has uniquely chosen the human family to participate in, that we would be 
spirit-like angels, but that we would also have this material, we would have this stuff that also images who God is, something of who God is, that we would get to participate in creation in a unique way, in a way that even angels who are closest to his throne right now, who are flying around there and giving him praise and glory and honor, that we get to participate in creation in, in many ways, including by the act of labor in itself, uh, including by building, being a part of building his kingdom as co-laborers. So, I, you know, it's this thing where I never want, I always want to be careful that we don't try to explain everything about angels because we can't. There's a mystery there, but their existence and the fact that they are so beloved and honored by God, and yet how beloved we must be that these angels, their function is to serve us, is to intercede for us, is to protect us, is to get us to heaven. Um, just to kind of marvel how holy and beloved uh, we are to God. And so uh, for that we give thanks and let's just try to take a moment today to give thanks for the service uh, of these angels who, though we cannot see them, surround us all the time, including in this holy mass when we will say with all the angels and saints, holy, holy, holy. Let us stand and bring our prayers to our loving Father who hears us. We pray for the church that we may strive to be like God, not in power and majesty, but in acts of humility, love, and service. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who lead us in our society that they too may not strive for office, uh, for power and, and majesty alone, but also to serve the human family humbly and to do so in a way that protects the dignity uh, of all human persons. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are ill. We pray for all those who are suffering in mind and body or spirit, that they would have the comfort and consolation of the Lord's presence. Pray especially for those suffering from coronavirus and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Pray for the repose of Lydia Tomagno, the intention of this Mass. We pray also for all those who have gone before us in faith. For them we pray to the Lord. And let's take a moment to call to mind some of our own prayers on our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We ask you, loving Father, to hear these prayers, for we make all of them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating 
But as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other some sign of peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. to Job tomorrow.